Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me looking at, or uh, looking at? I don't know. I'm still also trying to do it. Week three of the um, weekly premium challenge. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. We haven't done this one. That's why I checked. That, that's kind of exciting. It is a medium bomb 2061. Number of spaces cleaning robots clean. Hit the like button, the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. A room is represented by zero index. 2D binary matrix room where zero represents an empty space and one represents uh, a space of an object. The top of the do, 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 okay, a cleaning robot starts at the top left corner. It's facing right. The robot will continue heading straight until reached the end of the room, and then it returns clockwise and repeat this process. The starting space. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So because that's seven, because it just keeps on going circle, right? Hmm. What is doing? Oh, hits an object up to which it. Okay. So here it goes at zero, zero, go to zero, one, turns right. Huh? It does not clean the object? So it's not an op. I don't know why they call it an object. It's so awkward. Cause like, yeah, like it's a cleaning object, fine. But like, why you have a robot that cleans but doesn't clean the object? Might just call it a war, you know? Like, why call it an object? That's just confusing. Okay, fine. Okay, so it's just basically, um, yeah, how many cells it can reach, right? Except for that, it has these wars. So okay, I mean, pretty straightforward to be honest. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I mean, it's just a simulation problem, right? So let's let's take a look. So okay, all is right. C is and then now we want to say starting oh, x y is equal to zero zero, right? And then we want to set direction, right? What's direction? Direction is going to be say zero, but then we have to kind of be clarified what that means because we have four places. One, the first one's going to be to the To the right, right, oops, and to the right, it's going to be 0, 1, right, for the dy, um, and then you make a clockwise, which way is clockwise, right, so now it's down, right, I think they said it was going to be down afterwards, okay, yeah, down, so it's going to be uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, 1, 0, uh, and then left, and then up, right, okay, so then d is the direction, and then we just basically maybe have a thing for visit it, right, I don't even know if this is strictly necessary, but I appreciate it, so it's fine. And then now we go... Do, 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 do. Yeah, 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 okay. Mm, I mean, it's fine. I mean, I'm just thinking about a d couple of number of ways to think about how to do it. Um, really not a big deal. But yeah. Okay, so yeah, so then now we go maybe while true, right? We may change the condition in a bit, but yeah. Uh, so we have x, y, so then now we go, okay. So next, next x, next y is you go to x plus dx uh, direction, uh, okay. Dx dy is equal to the directions of d. Dx y plus dy, right? So then now, if <coughs> if this is the case, so th it is is in bound, and then we go forward. But so if we this is not the case, we want to actually well turn clockwise, which is just d is equal to d plus one mod four. Right, so then it goes from one of the things to the next one of them, which is kind of clockwise the way that, or clockwise rather, the way that we did it. And maybe we just do a continue. Otherwise, we want to check if this is awkward. I mean, the way that I set it up is awkward because I was trying to save some space, but. But uh, but I think the way that I'm doing it is wrong. 
because basically the way that I would just I'll try and be lazy about visiting, but the reason why it is wrong is because you have an uh, an input that could be something like this. Um, do 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 right. So here it would go to the right, right, and then now it goes down. So it's here, here, and then now it goes to the left, and then mm, oh, and maybe I need a one here, right? And then now it goes and turns around, but then it it thinks that it already visited here, which is true, but not in this direction, and therefore it will keep going. But if we try to we uh exit early, then it will be no Gucci. So we have to be a little bit more careful about this, and maybe we'll just do something like. Yeah, maybe we'll just do it in a set. It's a little bit easier. Yeah. So then I could do this, and then we can add this, right? But uh, but yeah, now that you add a direction to it. It is uniquely determined, right? Because you can only go to the same space in the same direction. Then that means that you've seen it. So okay. Otherwise, we then now. Um, so now this is within bounds, and we also have to double check that. Uh, oh, so not or. Um, Was it room of n x n y? is equal to one, right? It just means that if there's an object or a wall, then you just also do the rotation thing. Forgot about that, okay. And then now, we just, otherwise we just move forward. Yeah, so then now x, y is equal to n, x, n, y, and that's it, right? Um, now we have to do an extra step to count the number of space clean because now it includes the direction, right? Uh, in the visited, but not not that bad of deal. So for x y, and the direction in visited, uh, maybe something like this, right? So now we could make that into set, and the length of this set is the answer. I think this should be good. Yeah. Uh. Right. Give us submit. Hopefully, no silly mistakes. And there we go. Consistent is key. See you tomorrow. Ah, uh, yeah. And what's the complexity here? Well, because of how we did the visit, it, we only going is going to be linear time, linear space. And keeping in mind that linear with a grid problem is going to be the the input size is r times c, and the output size is actually four times r times c, or not the output size, but the the time used. It's going to be four times r times c because we go to each cell at most four times, once for per each um, direction. And space we also use four times, once for each direction. So it's going to be linear in the size of the input of r times c. And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Stay good. Stay healthy. Take your mental health. Stay safe out there. I'll see you all later. Take care. Bye bye.